uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically you can fetch the autocomplete results from google and youtube basically inside your angular 14 application so you can see it's a in we have input field out there and if you type anything here let's suppose if i type here coding you will now see basically all the autocomplete results that you see inside the google search engine youtube search engine is fetched here you will see that as i am typing right here it is giving me suggestion this uh, api so we are fetching these uh, from the google api guys and we are displaying these results inside this autocomplete drop down so if you select any of these entries out there you will now see this will be rendered out there inside this unordered list now if i select more here you will see that it will again have now if i select this one you will now see so basically it's a good uh, uh, keyword finder app basically many a times you don't need to go to google you just have to have a simple input field out there angular 14 as you type now you will see that so we will be basically doing this uh, inside your angular 14 application for this we are using a dependency which will automate the process for fetching the results guys so this is really easy how we can do this you will see that you will basically get a lot of ideas for making videos writing blog posts it's a very good search engine kind of an application google youtube autocomplete app for doing this guys let me just reveal the dependency that we are using so just type here ngx type ahead this is basically the dependency guys that we are using here so you can see it, it's a fairly good dependency 1800 weekly downloads are there so all the source code of this application guys is given in the description of the video so this is my blog post that i have written here step by step instruction is given uh, let me see sorry this one this blog post so the link is given in the description so you can check out so now let's get started by building this application so the very first thing you need to do you just need to go to your application angular project and just type here npm i ngx dash type ahead t y p e a h e a d this is basically the dependency that we are using here so simply install this module and the very next thing you need to do guys is you need to uh, basically just inside your app.module.ts file this file basically let me just add this line once again so for this you just need to import the forms module this is very necessary for this uh, dependency so include this inside imports array and then now we just need to basically import this dependency ngx type ahead and from this we have to import a module which is ngx type ahead module so then we just need to import this inside imports array that's all and now we just need to go to basically guys uh, let me also here delete this and, and here also delete this so if you want to start your application you can simply type here ng serve so this will start your application at port 4200 so now basically guys we can have a simple heading in the center position that uh, google and youtube autocomplete app and after this guys we will basically have a simple input field and this will be type text and here guys we can attach the directive here which is ngx type ahead so this basically is coming from the module that we installed guys so this basically fulfills the autocomplete we will get the suggestions so now what we need to do here we need to provide the value property here and this will be equal to query so this uh, variable we will declare it inside our app.component.ts file so no so we will be defining all these variables right here and basically inside the placeholder you will simply say that uh, type and get uh, results from 
Google and YouTube so basically if you refresh your application what you will see it is compiled here and now if I go you will see that so it is uh, for now it is coming as undefined so now to fix this problem it's very simple we can simply you need to declare this variable which is query that we have initializing so just go to your app.component.ts file and make basically a variable called as query and you can just initialize here let's suppose cane here so you will see cane will be there as a placeholder you will see basically this is the query that automatically whenever you load the page this will automatically gets here so we can e declare it nothing here so that when we load the page nothing is written here so the user should type here so this is necessary so now we need to initialize some more variables so after this we will type here the URL so this basically contains this property guys which is TA URL and here you need to provide the URL so again we just need to go to our app.component.ts file and inside this we will provide basically the Google and YouTube API URL from which we will fetch the results autocomplete results so this is basically suggest API suggest queries uh, dot google.com slash complete slash search this is basically the URL guys and if you now notice nothing will be there because we need to attach the parameters also so just go to app.component.ts and the next property it takes is basically the uh, params so inside square brackets you will simply write TA P A R A M S. So here you will initialize your parameters. So inside your parameters, guys, we just need to declare the parameters. So this will basically a simple object. So public params. And inside this object, guys, you will first of all need to provide the language HL. So this will be English language EN. And then we have DS. So this will be for YouTube XHR XHR basically is for Ajax so it is true and the client you will provide either Google or you will provide YouTube so we are designing it for YouTube so that's why we are providing YouTube here so now if you see the magic guys if I type something you will now see it will have the auto auto complete here as you can see here as I am typing right here you will see that it changes automatically and you will get all the autocomplete results that you want to have so this will significantly help in making videos and writing blog post you will see that so now the thing guys whenever I select any of these results out there I need to display those results in the browser so for doing this we will add a property we will add basically a simple property to this input field here so this basically contains a event handler so whenever the user selects something so TA selected so here we will basically provide a method handle or you will call this anything I will say fetch keyword and here basically inside we pass the actual keyword which is selected by the user so fetch keyword we are passing the keyword that is selected so now we just need to define this inside of a typescript file so we can simply say fetch keyword and if we have got the keyword here and here we will simply declare a keyword array variable this will basically array so what we will simply say this dot keywords and we will push it the keyword value which is coming here so now we simply need to display this value inside the HTML so we can simply go to app.component.html so here we will simply have after this a UL element and we will basically initialize ng4 directive 
so we will simply say let key k of keywords and we will display the keyword inside double curly brackets which is k so if you now see if i now select any sort of keyword let me see why it is not displaying keywords here fetch keyword i think guys uh, the value that you have defined here if you check the value let me check the value inside our ts selected okay this method name you this needs to be handle result selected you can't change the name of the function so this needs to be handle result selected and here you will pass your event dollar event so this needs to be same guys so you can't change the uh, name of the function this needs to be same right here if you now refresh uh let me see what is basically handle result selected is not a function okay sorry sorry we haven't changed the value handle result selected so now if you see so now you can see that automatically whenever we select the value it basically adds to the browser here so you can select any keyword here and it will be shown here inside the browser so this is basically the dependency guys ngx type ahead which you can make your youtube and google auto complete results all the source code is given in the description of the video thank you very much for watching this video and i will be seeing you in the next one